Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told world leaders that Russia is weaponizing everything. From food and energy to kidnap children in its war against Ukraine. He said that although the world has various treaties restricting weapons, especially nuclear weapons, Russia maintains access to destructive weapons. Terrorists have no right to possess nuclear weapons. Zelensky told the first face-to-face -face United Nations General Assembly meeting since Russia's invasion. On Tuesday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky addressed the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday. But while nuclear weapons remain in place, mass destruction is accelerating. Russia is weaponizing many things that are used not only against our country, but also against your country. Zelensky emerged on the world stage at a sensitive juncture in his campaign to maintain international support for his country's struggle. Nearly 19 months after Moscow launched a full-scale invasion, Ukrainian forces have been three months into a counteroffensive that has not gone quickly or as well initially hoped. Ukraine its allies see countries cause as a fight for rule international law. Sovereignty of any country with a powerful potentially expansionist neighbor. Stability global food. Fuel other supplies rocked by crisis. Zelensky argued that Kremlin was turning power plants such as Zaporizhia in Ukraine into dirty s. Even without using nuclear weapons. And warned that every war still had the potential to be last war. Zelensky argued that the Kremlin was turning power plants like Zaporizhia into dirty s even. Without using nuclear weapons. Is there any point in reducing nuclear weapons while Russia is arming itself? He claimed that Russia was weaponizing food by blockading Ukrainian ports, energy through global influences on oil gas prices, and even weaponizing children through what he called mass kidnappings deportations. We know the names tens thousands children and have evidence that hundreds thousands other children were abducted by Russia in the occupied territories Ukraine and subsequently deported. He said, the president concluded his speech by calling on leaders not to trust shady relations and the promises of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Ukraine is doing everything possible to ensure that no one in the world will dare attack any country in the wake of Russia's aggression. He said, armament must be limited. War crimes must be punished. The occupier must return to his own lands. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky speaks with wounded Ukrainian soldiers during his visit to Staten Island University Hospital in New York. Monday, September 18, 2023. Previously, United States President Joe Biden had made a strong case that the world should remain united in defending Ukraine. He warned that no nation would be safe if we allow Ukraine be divided as he sought to rally support for Kyiv's efforts repel nearly 19 months of Russian